Welcome everyone to today's webinar, Delivering Activities from Bovine Curriculum Online. We have with us Jamie McIntosh, RealityWorks Real Career um, Product Manager. So I'm gonna pass things over to him. Well, thank you very much, Emily, and I appreciate it. I'm going to share my screen with you all because um, I just wanna say thank you first off for uh, coming today. Um, thank you for what you're doing in these very unique times. We are um, happy to try to help in any way we can as a company, as you are out on the front lines um, teaching students in a totally new way. So I want to just say thank you for what you are doing. Um, I myself am here in my um, house and you know, you never know if a child might come in and interact with you or what you have to do at home versus in the classroom. Um, but we really thank you for what you're doing and we hope that this will give you some um, some breath, some opportunity for you to uh, take a moment, um, realize that we have things that we can help you with. We want to be there as you are working with your students. And um, if we can and do that in some way, then I think we have uh, accomplished our, our purpose here. So thank you for what you're doing. And we want to share with you today um, kind of what we can help with um, in this case. Now, as we get started here, um, just to kind of uh, talk a little bit about Zoom here. Um, I have a little uh, picture here for you of what you can see. And um, just to make sure that you have your auto settings, if there's a problem, if you can't hear me, go to your auto settings and you can um, switch that so you can work there. There's also a chat um, icon here where if you click on that uh, question or on that uh, uh, chat uh, uh, button, you can then ask a question um, as we're going. And uh, during the presentation, I may not answer all the questions, but afterwards there is a question and answer session at the very end and we will go through that and try to give you um, the answers there. Uh, and so there, um, you can see the questions um, as well. So there's a little help for you there as we go through this um, for uh, our presentation today. So um, one of the things that I want you to be, and, and I hope that you are, are doing it and thank you for uh, showing up here, but is how can we help bring curriculum to you? So want to walk through uh, what we're doing as a company to help you out. Um, as again, <laughs> we're in very unique circumstances. You're in unique circumstances trying to figure out how do I do this in a, in a new way of doing things um, in education in a way that we haven't seen um, in probably our lifetime um, as educators. So I thank you for taking the time and want to walk through some of our curriculum as I've done a lot of different presentations and, and been in the classroom and in the school. Um, there are some things that you're going to be able to do in a in a normal class here and then there's some things you won't be able to so let's work together and we want to help modify some of that so then you can still be giving uh, quality resources to your students so uh, to kind of get started with that i have a few things here um, for you so first off um, i want to just uh, walk you through how to get to the curriculum now one of the great cool things that uh, railworks is doing right now is that we have curriculum for every single product that we own. And, um, and so what we are doing is we're putting it out there for you. Um, we want you to be able to go to that curriculum, uh, download it, and then be able to use it as you can um, for your classrooms. And everyone's a little different, what you're using it for and, and how you're using it. It's gonna be different from another teacher, but we wanna give that to you um, and be able to use it. It is in PDF format, so it's something that you can go to and be able to um, uh, use it. So first off here, all you need to do is go to our um, RealityWorks website, realityworks.com. And um, as you scroll down from the top of our page here, you see this COVID-19 response. And all you have to do is hit that learn more button. And when you hit that learn more button, um, it will pop you up to different resources that we have. Now, this is a uh, webinar that we're doing today. We have other webinars. We have some free lesson plans. And, and this is uh, a general lesson plan for um, employability skills, those soft skills that you have, um, and career exploration um, into that world of, of some of those kind of skills that you can, can learn about um, in, through career exploration and the soft skills and the things that you need in career exploration. Then we also have um, program resources there. And that's where all of our guides and our curriculum is. Uh, residing. So right there, two clicks, you're into this area here, and you can go and get the downloads for our guides and our curriculum. 
Um, we also have professional development opportunities there too that you can click on and see if that's something that your um, school is still offering for you during this time, you can click on that. But if you click on the guides and curriculum, it pops it right up. And I just want to show you here what you're actually going to be able to see and, and, and how it works through. So at the bottom here again, um, we have the, um, the access point, the, the link for you here for access your guides and your curriculum. So, you know, you click in here, you click on um, uh, agriculture, and then it kind of starts breaking it down into different areas that we have curriculum for. And all you have to do is click the different ones and it gives you those different um, pieces of the puzzle there that you might need. And it's the curriculum um, in that sense. And when you click on it, in this case, bovine breeder here, you have a quick start guide, you have the curriculum, and that is gonna be basically a file folder where you can go in and then open up all of our curriculum for, for that product, and then you can use it. It has PowerPoint slides in there. It has um, uh, worksheets and activities. It has this, the instructor guides for you. So you can use that as your will during this time of COVID-19. So that's an open area for you right now that we want to give um, as a source for you to use um, today, today. So let's get started today um, on our uh, presentation here. And really, you know, it's one of those things where um, <clears throat> We want to uh, make sure that you, there you go. So um, that you are, are getting the best resources that you can that we have to offer here. And so, you know, let's get started. And, and before that, let's just remind ourselves um, there is social distancing. So, you know, let's remember and remind our students that, hey, keep at least one cow length apart from each other or two calves from each other as we go here today. Okay, so one of the great things that this is, is that this is a new um, world that we're, we're teaching in. And so in that whole kind of um, world here, we really want you to, hey, we know that it's difficult. We know that it's tough. Um, we hope that this can be a unique challenge for you with your students and, and have fun and, and try to enjoy as much as possible in the tough times as well. So um, hopefully too, it's an opportunity for your students to see in a different way um, a different type of learning and still gain something out of it. So just want to remind you kind of as a, a uh, little reminder there of the social distancing to, to make sure you're, you're uh, keeping yourself safe in that way. So let's get started here. So delivering activities from bovine curriculum online. So as we start here, I want to kind of go through how we're going to work this. Now, we have a lot of different bovine curriculum that we um, supply. So we have um, three different curriculum that we're actually going to use today from three different products that we have. So we have our cow model curriculum, which we're going to take a few pieces out of that cow model and um, help you to talk to your students of the digestive and reproductive system. We're then going to um, look into bovine breeder curriculum, which talks about, and we're going to pull out some curriculum pieces for artificial insemination technique. And then finally, we're going to pull out some curriculum from the bovine injection simulator, which is talking about injection placement. All of this surrounding the bovine, all about this, about uh, really kind of taking bits and pieces and, and really more of that reflective piece and that helper for your students to really understand different systems, different parts of the animal, um, both anatomy and then also how you interact and, and what do you need to do for care of the animal as well. So as we go through here, um, feel free to kind of, um, again, this is going to be something that I want you to kind of pick and choose. How can you use this? What will be um, best in, in your usage as you go here? So this is kind of how we present our lessons. Usually they're structured about a 45 to 60 minute class, and they start with some focus that getting the student's attention, getting them to focus in on what is the lesson going to be about. We then go into that learn where it's really that presentation mode that you've chosen. So it may be an activity, it may be a uh, PowerPoint, it may be um, hands-on learning things, it may be a, um, a interactive discussion type class, um, but whatever presentation mode that you've chosen, we then have different assignments there that you can then use within that. And then there's a review section, some key points and assessment that we have um, to kind of go through that. So, we, I have taken the time to kind of pull different pieces out here for you that 
kind of and wanting to walk you through, hey, you can use these and these are kind of some maybe best practices or new practices or ways that you could use this in your classroom as well. So when we're talking about the cow model here, we're talking about um, digestive and then also the reproductive system. So with the cow model curriculum, um, one of the lessons in there is a one all about the digestive tract. And so the whole focus here within the ruminant, and this is something where with your students, you can really kind of focus them in the sense of, hey, we want to do an overview, just a reminder, or maybe it's an introduction to the ruminant system. The cow's stomach, or the, the cow's ruminant, the stomach um, of a cow is so different than what we know of. And so we need to walk through and kind of do that overview. Then we're going to go in and really kind of dive in and learn, and then we'll do a recap at the end with a little review. Now, this is again, Something that for you instructors, this is one of those places where as you the instructor um, are teaching, one of the things that may come in handy is for you, you to use our um, cow models if you have those available to you. Now, if you have the cow models, um, our cow model or our ruminant model, this is a place where if you have the ability to do a Zoom meet, if you're able to go you know, um, in a video presentation to your students, being able to show that and use that in your classroom and, and how you are teaching today, that might be a real big benefit for you. Now, again, if you don't have one of these models, that's okay because the curriculum still will walk through and use it. It's just a nice piece to really kind of demonstrate and use in this case, but it's an option there for you as well um, if you have that and, and, and you're able to use that um, where you're at. So, with or without the cow model, let's go in and, and, and dig into the ruminant system. So a lot of times, one of the ways you can do it is pose this question. It could be online. It could be through an email. Maybe it is where you have an ability to talk to your students. Um, and the question is, is, okay, what are the four chambers or sections of the ruminant? Pretty simple, all right? Get them started just to reminding them as worlds are so different. Kids are in different way, places right now. Their, their head's in a different spot. Just kind of easing them back into what are the four chambers or the sections of the ruminant? And then posing the question to students, you know, where are those, those four uh, chambers located? Where are they in location to the rest of the body? And that's a big piece because one of the things when I travel around and I talk to instructors as I, I, I taught classes, one of the things that is, is, is difficult for students at times is this idea of where the, the location of the stomach is to the rest of the body. Where are the different parts of the stomach as well? So just get them thinking about that and how do they, they connect the pieces of, and put that together of where different things are. The next thing here is that after you get them thinking and, and kind of talking through them, we have PowerPoint slides here that you can show them. And maybe this is something where you want to send this off to them. Now, Again, we have um, the ability here to be able to um, put this in and, and allow the students to have these PowerPoint slides as well. When, and, and send these presentation slides off and say, go through them on your own. For some places, that would be a um, great individual learning where the students can read through and go through the PowerPoint slides on their own. Now, for some, it might be better for you to do as a whole class where you present this, um, show and share this, with the classes that you have. Now, at other places, maybe, and the way that I've used it before is you take a snippet or you take a picture, a photo or a snippet of this, you put it in a document, and then you pass this on to your students and say, hey, I want you to draw in where the different features are of the digestive tract. So different options for you there to kind of use that. Then, once you've handled that and got through and maybe give that back to you or you talk through it as a, an, an online form, you start getting to the learn. And here are the slide presentations. And again, that presentation could be um, sent off to your students so they can uh, read through it and have to kind of have it as a, a, a tutorial. It could be something where you show it as a, a classroom type setting. Um, it could be something where you walk through it together as students or have them um, be, have to journal about different things. There's a lot of different ways you can, can present this to your students. But in this, then it walks through with a slide presentation talking about the rumen, going through what the reticulum is, um, then going into the omasum and the abomasum, showing them and talking to them about where the location is. So you're going back to the focus of, okay, do you know where these are located? Then talking about, okay, what does each part of that reticulum do? 
uh, or uh, excuse me, uh, what part of the, the ruminant system does the reticulum, is the reticulum um, for, the omasum for, the abomasum for, and going through those different features. And then also say, and working with this, not just as where are they in location, but also what are they doing? So in this case here, actually, where does the food go once it goes down the esophagus? How does it travel through the ruminant system? And then where does it go after it's done in the ruminant system? So those are different ways that you can talk through them or um, kind of like this example here, this is a slide from our slide presentation that you have um, the ability to use. Now, in this case here, maybe it's something where you want them to actually use different colors and draw where the different lines are. So you give them um, uh, the slide here without the um, lines in here and they have to draw it. So there's a lot of different opportunities there for you to kind of help them along in that learning uh, place of the ruminant system. And then for a review, one of the great things that we have is we have different worksheets, we have different quizzes, we have different opportunities that you can actually email this to your students. You could have them um, go out and see this maybe in, in one of your um, learning management systems and then have to answer these questions um, and, and then send back or submit or maybe walk through it orally uh, and talk about it as a class or in a sense of they turn it in somehow as a participation, depending on what you're doing in your school and how you're, you're interacting with that in your school. So, those are all different ways for you to, to be able to um, kind of see and to use uh, these different things. So one of the things that um, we want to go to now is kind of getting that idea for you of within one lesson of our curriculum here, there's a lot of different things you can do with it depending on what your needs are and how you want to present it to your students. And that's just the, the, um, the, uh, um, the ruminant system that we're talking about. Now, going from that world and then saying, okay, let's talk about other systems within the animal uh, and bovine, is we also have in the uh, cow model uh, curriculum, we also have reproduction system, okay? And so if you go in to the reproductive system and you look at the um, reproductive system, another piece of this is the um, focus not only just on one system, but started to jump into other systems as well and how different systems within the body work. So in this case here, the reproductive system, we have another lesson and it talks through the reproductive anatomy. And what we're gonna focus on now in the learn section, it has both the bull reproductive uh, anatomy and also um, the cow reproductive anatomy. Okay, so it has both sides. We're just gonna focus on the cow today and then we're going to get to that review, and there's actually a quiz that students can go through and work through inside of the, uh, um, this lesson here. So again, one of the things that I want to kind of talk about is um, using the cow anatomy model is helpful. Being able to show it, demo it, um, be able to see it, that is helpful, but it's not needed. Now, you may have a uterus model from us as well, and that's another piece that can be helpful, but again, it's not needed because, again, the curriculum is there for you, um, and all you have to do is go, and you can still use it without our, our models if you don't have all the models, but it's a great feature to demo and help and, again, to get more understanding by using these than um, if you have that ability. So the reproductive section starts with understanding anatomy. Okay, so this is where you could pose the question to students, what are the main parts of the female bovine reproductive system? All right, you could just ask that question and have them list it up. Maybe it's in a, in a discussion format and you can talk about, have them, you know, what are the different um, uh, parts of, of the system? Um, maybe you can um, have them email those, those answers to you or put them on a forum or things of that nature. But then the second question, this is where you start getting students to, to think outside of just their normal everyday um, activities or outside of the classroom too is, okay, now draw. Can you draw and, and show it what it looks like? And maybe depending on what, what you're on, if you have Microsoft Teams or if you've got Facebook or different things, maybe they can post some of those pictures if you have that form available in a, in a safe manner that you can then have them, hey, okay, well go put it out there because 
by having those different ways, social media, um, different online um, learning management system, different things that you have available to you, if you have those available to you, having the students connect with each other in that way, show what they were able to draw, um, how they look different, maybe goofy, whatever the case is, doing some of those kind of things. And maybe it's not with reproductive system, maybe it's with another um, activity that you have, but having students interact with one another is a great feature, especially right now um, in the times we're at, where they can get that interaction um, when they may feel a little isolated on their own. So getting them to draw and be able to label the different parts of the reproductive system, for some, that might be a review activity because you've already, you've already used it this year. For some, this may be um, the first time they've ever gone through that. And so it can be able to be used to see, this is where I started at the end of the lesson. This is what I know now. So different opportunities and options there for you. So once you're in that, within our uh, uh, presentation slides, we have um, the ability for you to actually show students, okay, now give me a picture of your drawing. Let me see what you drew. And then also, hey, here's what it actually looks like. And this is from our, um, our PowerPoint slides where you can actually say, okay, here's the female reproductive um, track, the system and what's all involved, okay? Well, walking through them, okay, um, what did they miss? Are there things on here that they have that isn't on this uh, slide? Are there things that um, they were surprised by, they were interested by, um, things they forgot, things that they included that weren't, shouldn't be here, um, questions on these different things. So again, showing them and giving them those kind of opportunities to ask questions, seek out and kind of see what do they know, how much they knew. Maybe even in this uh, time, it's not how, what they know or what they don't know, it's how much do they remember. Because some of this may have been early um, or back in the fall when they were learning this and, and kind of remind them, giving them back that, okay, let's go back. Let's remind each other, let's get back to that position of understanding where we are. So again, getting into learn then. Okay, once you have that, this is what the reflex system is, is walk through. And again, we're going through the, the cow or the female reproductive anatomy here. Um, we also have slides in the male, so you can also go through that as well. But we're gonna focus on the, the female here and walk through, and you can talk about what each part of the reproductive system actually entails. All right, why is it important? What is the purpose of it? Why is this um, part of the overall system and how they work together, okay? What is that purpose of the cervix and what does it do to help um, both the animal? And then what are some of the, the, the issues that, that could kind of be a problem at the same time and what, what um, is involved there? We'll talk about that in the next lesson as well when we get into artificial insemination. Um, talking through, you know, the uterus, the cervix, and, and kind of getting it a little bit more in depth of why this whole system works together, what is, um, is the importance of it as well. Um, going through and talking about um, the different parts of, of the anatomy um, through this so they can really gain understanding. Now, again, if you're in a slide presentation here and you're able to um, have this time with the students, there's opportunities for you to still have lecture time. You could go through this and have students have to take notes. You could go through this and have students um, um, answer questions off of this. So there's different things that you can glean from this. This is also a great example where you can send these slide presentations to your students to have them be working on during the week, to be able to read through, get an understanding, and then maybe later in the week, you can use that as, okay, you're supposed to have read this now, now we're gonna have some question time, or you were supposed to do this activity, now we're gonna talk about it. And so being able to break it up for students so then it's not maybe all in one setting, but giving them different opportunities to, to gain that knowledge and learn. There's a great wealth of knowledge here, not only in the, the text, but also in the visuals to be able to show for your students as well. And then finally here, how do you end here? Well, we have a review. There's a worksheet here, a quiz here, student quiz here, where they actually can go through and, def and have to um, find all the different pieces of the reproductive uh, system and then be able to answer, okay, what are the different uh, pieces? It then goes in deeper and you know, explain some of the important parts of that. So again, this can be done orally. This can be something where your students turn in for participation, 
some of that you work as have groups work together on. There's a lot of different ways. But again, this is that resource for you to be able to um, uh, help your students and be able to do that. Now, walking through the bovine um, reproductive track, walking through the, re um, uh, the digestive track gives those systems. And so those are just kind of the start for you. Now what we're talking about is kind of going to that next level, all right? So they understand that you're working through that. Now let's go a little deeper, okay? And so in this case, what we're gonna do here is we're, as we go a little deeper, we're now also looking at um, uh, how, by knowing those features, how can then you put it to the next place and, and start talking about the skill development and understanding of um, what do you use those systems for? How is that important? in the care of animals. And so that's where um, we put in here with adding through and using the bovine breeder curriculum. And so the bovine breeder curriculum, one of the things that you can do here is inside of the bovine breeder cur curriculum, there is a lesson on proper artificial insemination technique. Now, in this one, again, one of the things that you can look at here is um, kind of that focus, getting students started, then do a learn and then a review, okay? And so our curriculum walks through those different pieces. So to walk you through, you know, one of the things again that I wanna kind of suggest is that um, if you have our products, this is a great piece to demonstrate where you may have a time and uh, where you could put a video out there and show students then um, the proper insemination. This is where you could walk through in a video format and, and talk to them about how it's done, show them the inside, of the, um, of the simulator where you can see um, all the different uh, anatomy and why it's important um, and how you're doing it. So demonstration can be very powerful um, even though you don't have the students in the classroom there, all right? At the same time, if you don't have this, the curriculum still walks through the different features uh, for you as well. So in this case here, um, one of the things with insemination landmarks, this again ties in with what you've already learned and what you've already done in um, uh, the reproductive um, section of the last lesson here. So now you know where different parts of the body are, but what are the landmarks that are important for your um, insemination? So it's important to know the vulva, the vagina, the cervix, the ovaries, all these different features, but okay, what are landmarks that when you're actually inseminating that they think that they need to know it, that is important? Okay, how does the rectum play a part in artificial insemination? And so these are the kind of questions that um, are, are important to and maybe start thinking and get students to think, well, I don't know. What is that interesting, that part of it? Why is that interesting? Why is that important? So this again can be discussed orally. Um, you can have discussions on the anatomical parts here. You can have a presentation and show them, you know, here's the different features of it using a bovine breeder. But this gives them that questioning uh, ability to actually say, okay, what are some important parts? Maybe even you have them go out and go online and to have them look at a YouTube video of um, how do you artificially inseminate. Maybe they need to go to a trusted source and go to a um, university website because there's some great websites out there that has a kind of a step through of what are the landmarks for our insemination. So talking about, yeah, why is the cervix important for artificial insemination? Why is the rectum important for artificial insemination? So getting them to start thinking about um, insemination and landmarks within the reproductive tract here. So the next thing then is start again with our slide presentations, really walking through. But again, this is a place where you can send these off to your students. You can have um, them read through it, but there's great, great um, insight here through visuals alone as you walk through some of our curriculum here. So the ability to understand of locating the reproductive tract because I have to go through the rectum to be able to get to the cervix, that then ties in that last question of, oh, that's why the rectum is so important in artificial insemination. Why is the cervix important, okay? And so then going in and saying, oh, I have to be able to um, not only insert the AI a gun, but I also have to know where the cervix is and how to manipulate and get through, uh, manipulate the cervix so then the gun can be passed through the cervix as well. Walking through those and, and getting them to understand that. Now, for some, 
maybe this is something you didn't think you were going to be teaching this year. But now is a time where, hey, let's give them a little bit more understanding of this. And so you can dive in deeper because of, um, of what you're going through. For some, maybe you've already talked about this and it's a good opportunity to bring it back and talk back through and have them go through this with the curriculum that um, you can use in, in, this, in this case here. All right. And then walking through and manipulating the surface. Okay, how do you manipulate? How do you actually move through to make sure you get to the end of the cervix so when you are inseminating, you're doing it in the right place? And where is that drop spot that you really want them to, to have? So again, giving this opportunity for students to gain from um, these, uh, these pictures and these slides as well, and then depositing, and then how it should be deposited and where it's going to go then allowing them to kind of go to that next level from, yep, I know anatomy, but now why is that anatomy important? What does it do if I want to get a job um, in, in the agriculture world? How do I then um, use this knowledge to help me in that sense? So um, finally then we have in this one, again, a uh, activity worksheet. And this is a great worksheet that allows students to um, not only identify where the different parts and, and landmarks are, but then it also then takes them into, okay, when you're going in the step-by-step -step process of insemination, do you understand how to actually do it? Again, sometimes in this, in the, where we're at here right now, um, you may not have the ability to show them um, and, and do it physically, but by giving them this, having students to understand this and, and start to kind of step-by-step -step through it, process through how it's done, mentally get an understanding of it before they would ever be able to do it physically, that might just help them. So when you do get back into the real world, uh, classroom and into the real world of interacting with one another um, in the classroom, they have this knowledge, they have this understanding. It's head knowledge, and now we want to do it into the physical hands-on um, knowledge as well. So another great thing here is we have a video um, called the ins and outs uh, using simulation to teach bovine operational insemination. And this is using uh, the uh, bovine breeder uh, to actually show all the different parts. And this is a great video that walks through um, how do you teach or how do you interact with um, our bovine breeder. And so it talks about all the landmarks. It talks about actually doing it. It actually shows using our, our uh, simulator to actually inseminate and then shows all that through. So this is a great resource here that you could go onto our website um, and you can also go onto YouTube and I have the link here and so this will be given to you as well where you can then um, put this out there. You can have students watch this. You can watch this to get an understanding for yourself. So it's a great feature here um, that is also able for you to, um, to help and a, and a different kind of learning mo modality as well. So another one here is the bovine injection, okay? And with bovine injection, what we're gonna talk through is again, going into um, this world, what we're talking about, what we're looking at here is one of the things that we're talking through again is now is we started with anatomy. We then went deeper in the understanding of, okay, within the system, reproductive system, what do you do with that? What is another feature of that that I need to have an understanding of? Now we're going to go in and kind of look at overall health. Okay, so we have our animal and we know the systems. We know what some of the systems can do. How do we then make sure that the whole animal is healthy? And what does this and how do you do it correctly? And so that's where we're going to jump into the bovine injection here. So in this case here, when we get into bovine injection, what we're looking at is um, one of our lessons here on just that. How do you actually do injection? And so again, our focus here could be injection placement locations. Our learning is really that presentation of, of how to learn through and then a review of injection quiz. And so, you know, again, if possible, if you can show or you can use the bovine injection simulator, that's a great tool that can walk through and you can present, you can show videos, you can present to your class, you can um, do demonstrations on it. If you don't have it, you can still use the curriculum to uh, work in this way. So for example here, where are the locations? So you may want to um, just pose a question out there or maybe you do an email or you ask the question of, you know, where's the best place to inject? Is, uh, is it in the neck? Is it in the rump? Is it in the side, the leg? 
where are you going to inject? And then the other question is why? Why are you going to inject one place or what are the, the reasons? Now, is it because of standards? Is it because of the quality of um, the animal and, and wanting to take care of the animal? Is it for business reasons? Asking those questions, get them to think of, okay, why would I inject an animal? And then where would I be injecting that same animal? So those are questions that you can kind of, kind of talk through. And then um, another feature there that you could also do is, is ask the students, okay, once they get to the understanding of why they should um, do it in the neck, so the reasons behind why the neck is better, um, not only for the standards and, and for um, uh, the regulations there, but why I would do it there, then start talking about the, the um, injection zone triangle. Okay, draw the triangle, all right? Where would you want to have the, and, and what surrounds the triangle? So kind of to go a little deeper here, this is where then um, you start getting to learn, okay? So here's the triangle, but where would you do uh, subcutaneous um, injections? Where would you do intramuscular injections? Why the difference? What are the kind of the, the things that are surrounding this triangle to be able to help students understand why this is the area and where they want to inject, where they don't want to inject. And then, okay, now let's say you want to inject. Okay, well, how far apart do your injections need to be? How much injection can you get? And so those are then, again, um, right in our curriculum, right in our PowerPoint slides and our worksheets, it gives you that information. So students can start to learn, okay, look at this is how much that I'm, and the size and the length of the needle that I should be using for um, subcutaneous, for intramuscular. This is the dosage that I should be able to do um, and, and how many um, uh, injections would I actually need? What are the guidelines for proper injection? And then what I'm doing those kinds of injections, um, what and how should I do that, all right? And then what, what do I need in, in that situation? And, and they can actually kind of um, learn not only from doing it, but then they can start kind of thinking about, okay, how would I do this as well? And then finally here, after you get them through that and get that understanding, we have a quiz. We have a quiz for them to that ask those types of questions that walks you through and gives them the opportunity, again, for oral discussion, for participation, for a grade, but it gives them the opportunity to then say, okay, I have an understanding of this or I'm getting that. And it gives you also the instructor an opportunity to kind of see, okay, where are they? How are they doing? What is it that they um, are learning and how do they understand? So again, gives them that opportunity for, for this. So just to kind of recap here, we have um, a lot of different curriculum for you to be able to use, all right? Today, we're focusing just on bovine, just focusing on that. We have three different curriculums that are focused on that and, um, and go into to depth about different parts of um, bovine. And so just with that focus, you can use our cow model, our bovine breeder, and our bovine injection simulator curriculums to really give students an understanding of that world, all right? So now what, okay? Well, you can go to our website and you can see the resources there. Um, we do have product information with videos and pricing and things that if you want more information on that, you can go there. And then again, that free curriculum on agriculture science, okay? There is a website, it's realityworks.com and then it's a backslash access dash your dash guides dash and dash uh, curriculum backslash. So right there, it's on here that you can go there and those are all there for you. So just again, to walk through that with you, you go to our website, Corona 19 Impact, all right, you go into the resources for you underneath the um, guides and curriculum, you click on that and it brings you into um, the different guides and curriculum that you have, all right. Then once you click on individual uh, pieces here, it will bring you right in and give you the opportunity to then download the curriculum um, that, that is for that specific uh, product. And so all that curriculum is out there for you for free during this time of Corona-19, um, that or COVID-19, excuse me, that you can then use, all right? So also um, for any instructor who's interested or in the process of um, uh, looking to buy our products, um, and you have money to be able to spend and, and use for our products here um, in this time, we are giving a 10% discount on all of our, uh, our entire line of agriculture products. So our entire line, you can also get 10% off right now um, if that is something that you are in, 
interested in and, and wanting to use. So with that said, I want to open it up and see if there's any questions that you have. Um, another thing that we would want to talk about as, as maybe if you have questions or you, you put it in your chat and then we can answer them. But another thing too is, is this is one of our first videos. We want to make sure that we're helping you and giving you um, information that is vital and useful to you. So we will have um, and are looking to do other webinars uh, with more kind of help for with our curriculum and how you could uh, implement it into your new world of classroom that you're in right now. So if you have other ideas or other needs in that world, we are going to be sending this video out to you, the resource links out to you. You'll probably get that in a day. All of that will be given to you so you can use it. But also, we will be sending a um, survey about what are some other things that you would be interested in. Um, so we want to know what else can we do to help in that way. So um, with that said, um, let's see if we have any. Um, yes, OK, so somebody's um, asking, can we put the link back up? So I will uh, go back up here and just put the website, uh, the page here. Again, it's at www.realityworks.com. Um, access your guides. And again, I think this is very important. So what I will do is let me walk you through it one more time here. Um, and I think, let me uh, make sure I'm sharing what you want to see here. Okay. Is So sharing our website here. And again, it's realityworks.com. When you come here, all you got to do is scroll down and it says COVID-19 response and says learn more. You click on that learn more and then it comes down here and it, it has your resources and ideas for continuing education. It's right down here under guides and curriculum. Right? You click on that, it then will give you the guides and curriculum that you are looking for. Um, from agriculture, all you have to do is click on the plus sign and it opens up the different areas that um, we have curriculum for you to be able to use um, at this time. So this is a, a great opportunity to be able to um, show you the different uh, um, curriculum that are available for you, and then you can um, go in and use that. So with that said here, um, let me see if there's any other questions that we have at this time. So let's see here. Um, Yeah, so that's kind of there for you. Um, again, and I'll just leave this up here for you. It seems like that's uh, a lot of question here. Uh, the question here is just that is realityworks.com. Access your guides and curriculum um, is where you're going to want to go. That will then give you that opportunity. And again, it digs in and hopefully this has been helpful to you as you are looking at this of different ways you can share um, this curriculum with your students. Uh, again, there's a lot of different things that um, you're focusing on and doing. We hope this is just one way to help and able for you to um, uh, use this. Um, so let's see. Jamie, we do have one question. Um, yeah. How long does the 10% off last? So um, right now the 10% off is going um, through April um, and into May a little bit. So um, that's kind of a, a here and now as the, the uh, COVID-19 is going on, something that we can try to help with in that way, so. Um, we also have um, another question. Did you mention what you had available for tests and quizzes? So, um, tests and quizzes. So each, uh, um, let me say, each of the um, different uh, curriculums have different tests and quizzes. So. Some will have a more in-depth quiz or a, a test. Some may have a very short one, depending on what it is. So um, I guess the best way I can say is some of our, uh, our products in the sense of um, bovine breeder, bovine injection, some of our bigger products that have more in-depth type training, you're gonna probably see more quizzes, more uh, um, assessment pieces for that. You get to our um, cat model, our dog model. They're gonna talk about all the different systems, you may see shorter quizzes because it's focused on individual systems of that that or that uh, that model. Um, 
Okay, and then we have another question. Um, they see that the list of the resources for the bovine, can you show them where the list of the resources for the swine would be? So um, in this case here, um, yeah, it says bovine swine. The swine is not quite up there on that one. Let me go back to our website here um, because what you'll see is we are bringing out our, our newest product, our swine breeder. Uh, and that is, through here, um, that is, is coming out um, this spring here. And I don't think it is finalized yet up here. So that's gonna be coming up here under the swine skills. Um, so you have bovine here and then, but what you can do is under animal models, we do have uh, swine, um, it's under our pig model and we have curriculum on uh, pig uh, urinary, pig model, uh, pig stomach, and then pig uterus as well. So in this case, we do have different curriculum. It's under the pig model versus the uh, um, swine. And so that will be, as soon as that is uh, ready to release, we'll get that up there as well um, in this world. So good questions. And then another question is, um, do you have videos of different animal models that could be used for teachers on our website? So if you go to our website, um, and I'll just kind of show you here now. This is uh, kind of good. This is fun here. So you can go to our um, animal and veterinary science um, underneath agriculture. And honestly, what you can do is it has every single product that we have. And all you have to do is um, do our uh, show, show all here. Okay. And then what you can do here is it's going to give you different information on every single product that uh, RealityWorks has. And so then if you click on the actual model, um, some of them, and this one um, doesn't have a video, some of them will have videos on individual ones, um, some will, will not. So if I go to our bovine breeder here, there you can see there's a video on it. So some products do, um, some of them don't have as much uh, in the sense of video. So it depends on what you want. But you can go here to our product and then just click on what you're looking for and um, some will show. Um, and a lot of times it's gonna be our bigger uh, products or, or models um, that have kind of more uh, different interactive pieces to it where then it will show that, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, and then one last question is regarding the 10% off. Can you just explain what's included in that? And then if they already have a quote, who should they talk to? Yeah, good question. So let me go back to our, um, PowerPoint slide here. Um, just a second here. I'm gonna jump back over to our PowerPoint slide because probably the best um, thing that I can do for that is if I go to, there you go, our 10% off. So it's a limited time. And here, this is even better for you. It says expires May 29th. So you have all the way um, through the end of May here. But our promotion is 10% off our entire egg uh, line here. So all animals and veterinary science products, all hydroponics learning aids, all employability skills, training tools, all plant science learning aids, and all welding and trade skill learning aids. So um, request a free quote. So again, this is our uh, website here, realityworks.com. Save 10 on your entire agriculture product line promo. Um, that's a mouthful, and there's a lot there. But... What you can do is if you already have a quote, you can go back to your salesperson and say, hey, can I get a, a quote on this? Um, or if you don't have a quote, this is where you can click right on this uh, request a free quote, and then that will give you that um, opportunity to fill in the information that you're interested in, what you're going for, and then be able to show that, okay? So these are on all our entire products. Now we do have pathway packages and bundles. That's where we put a whole bunch of uh, things together. We've already discounted some there, so that's not included, but any of the other pieces that you have um, of the, the um, products that we have, that you can get that 10% off. So trying to help you out that way. And hopefully that has helped you. All right, any other questions there, Emily? Uh, just one last question, and it's regarding, can we upload the PowerPoint later for them? Yes, so just a reminder, kind of walking through what we did this, is we will have um, this uh, presentation. We will be sending an email to you if you sign up for this. Um, we will send an email to you with this uh, uh, webinar, with um, the links that we talked about today, with um, all these different features, where to go to get to this stuff, 
we will have all those links in a great uh, uh, email for you coming out in the next day or so. So we'll put all this together. Once we get this video done, we'll send it out to you so then you can have it. Um, and then uh, uh, you'll have all that in kind of one place. So that's a, that's a great um, uh, you know, one place email that you can get into the meat of all this stuff that you have. So yeah, great questions. All right, with that said, I just wanna say thank you for your time. Thank you for taking the time to come here today. Um, I applaud you for what you're doing. Um, it's not easy. Um, you're doing great work and uh, we're gonna get through this. So I just wanna say keep on keeping on. Uh, thank you for your time. And again, we hope that we can continue to help serve you um, in this time uh, as you are on the front lines, doing the hard work, working with the students, and, and helping students learn. And we thank you for that. Thank you for the time that we got today. Uh, really appreciate it. And we hope that you have a great day.